what's up guys candy jams another episode of freshwater massacre how's it going today is a super awesome day i have an entire weekend off and the majority of it is going to be spent cleaning up around the house um the weekends on the lakes are not exactly the best time to go fishing on the lake because of all of the recreational boaters that have no boat etiquette. Like I said, I'm on my way to Cabela's. I went there last week. And for one of the rods that I got replaced, I was given a gift card. But for me to get the rod shipped to my house, it was going to be this ridiculously large amount of money. Like 15 to $18 to get a rod shipped to my house and if I go to Cabela's I can get it shipped to the store for free but the person that was helping me out did not want to help me out whatsoever so I figured I could go to my house and order it and there wouldn't be any shipping and I was wrong so I'm on my way back to Cabela's woohoo so not complaining there again not complaining uh, i love going to cabela's but i think it's a little uh ridiculous that i have to go all the way back to cabela's so that i can get a rod but anyhow i am going to go there nonetheless and 150 subscribers we made it make sure that you enter that giveaway by wednesday at noon that's when the entries being open will stop the way to enter is you have to number one be a subscribe to my channel freshwater massacre number two you have to like the video where i explain the details of the giveaway and number three you have to leave a comment in the section below and let me know how you are going to use the baits that I described in that video. And last but not least, you have to be. And last but. Blah, 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 blah. A few moments later. I can't. I can't say it. I can't say it. I. I okay. We'll we'll try it again. Um, you have to be following me on my Instagram page, Freshwater Massacre. So, I'm like five minutes away from Cabela's. We're gonna go in there and grab a rod and I will be back in just a quick, hot second. Stick around, stay tuned, and I'll show you what I get. All right, guys, so we're here at Cabela's and I'm gonna be running in, like I said, to grab some different things and grab some tackle, um, like I really need anything else. But, uh, anyways, I gave him the boot. I'm just going to run in and see if I can find a rod with uh, what I'm looking for. That particular rod was a medium, moderate, fast tip. And to be honest, um, they didn't really have any more of those. So... Needless to say, we are going to go take a look and at least see what they have, if they have anything of uh, that's even remotely close to what I'm looking for. I don't know, but like I said, we're going to give it a shot anyways and uh, see what they have. Cooking section always a good thing i really want to make a smoker out of a 55 gallon barrel uh, if i could find one they have these frogs on sale the ribbit frogs i really like these um i've caught some pretty pretty decent fish on these frogs uh the big ones not the small ones so I'm not even really seeing what they have. The one that I'm looking for. It's like a watermelon. It's this one, the watermelon red, but 
it's the bigger size. This one is a bit on the small side, so that one is out. Um, so I guess we're gonna go check out the rods and see. They, I know they have the guide series, um, and that's that's what I'm looking for. But I don't know that they're gonna have that specific one because, like I said, I was here and. They didn't have it in the store. Um, um, and I've caught a lot of big fish on that rod. So, I will take a look and see what they have. Remember that um, color that I was talking about in the giveaway, the bullfrog? this color right here that make it in a four inch and they make it in a six inch but they do not make it in anything bigger and that's kind of why i was a little bummed out because they don't make it in a bigger size so i'm gonna take a look at these rods and see what they have and uh see what happens Normally, this is where the rods are, and is that it? Is that it right there? Sweet, they do have it. Seven one medium medium moderate. There it is. I don't know how I missed that before. This is the one that I want. Seven one medium moderate. Sweet, I found it. Right on. Score. So I just talked to a guy that has recently gone on a trip to Alaska uh, in July. Apparently up in that part of Alaska, the salmon are running uh, pretty, pretty intensely. Um, and he was just telling me his story about uh, his recent trip. What's up, Devin? His recent trip uh, up to Alaska and uh, he didn't have a camera and he said that he wished that he had so huh? I said you got one of those going. Yes. He's standing around going. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah look he's excited. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Nice. All right so we made it out extremely well. Cabela's is having their family and friends sale right now so you can get the employee discount from August 4th to the 6th if you come in and have a coupon or know of somebody that works here. You can get 25% off of your entire order. It's pretty baller if you ask me. All right, guys, like I said, Cabela's had a family and friends discount. So everything that I got was 25 percent off i got that 7-1 medium moderate rod i got the gp head strap and the quick clip for 12 bucks i got the savage gear rat for 12 dollars and our our and our our and our our $12, 13 or 11 dollars Strike King Rayburn Red Crank. I can't wait to use this in a couple of my honey holes. Super awesome. So all of that was $28. Freaking awesome. So we're going to go back to the house. I had to stop at BJO. You know the deal. Great beef jerky out here in Garner, North Carolina. And we're going to go head back to the house, get this footage uploaded, and see if we can't find some fish. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we made it to the honey hole. One of the honey holes, but I need to charge my batteries. 
every single one of my batteries is 1% off of dead, so I need to charge them. So I have two baits that I'm going to throw. One is the rat. The other one is this KBD 1.5 Rayburn Red square bill. We'll see what happens. Getting this 7-1 medium moderate rod worked out well because I had a reel in my truck that I could use and I'm seeing bluegill swimming. So I'm going to tie on my rat and I'm going to tie on that square bill and then we will get to fishing. See you in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm going to cut right to the chase. The crankbait did not work and neither did the rat. So I'm going to fast forward to my next approach to catch this hot summertime bass. Let's go. Nothing on the lipless, so I'm going to see if I can find a cheeky head. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. Got a fish. <laughs> Shaky head. Oh, that's a nice one. That's, pro that's probably the biggest one that I've caught out of here. Man, that's a nice fish. Whew. Grinding, baby. Grinding. That is a pretty, pretty fish. That, my friends, is what we're looking for. See you later, buddy. Thank you. It didn't even hit the bottom. But just for a second. So, I made... The right switch. Shaky head, motor oil, chartreuse tail. Threw it out into probably the deepest part of the pond and uh, almost immediately I had a bite. That was awesome. It's either weeds or a tiny, tiny fish. That would be weeds. So, that's the, seems like that's the jam, guys. Soft plastics going deep. They weren't shallow for the most part anywhere in the pond. And I was just about to give up but persistence always, always pays off. I've never used this color before. I, I usually have a bunch of extra, I usually have a bunch of extra baits, saw plastics underneath the seats of my truck and this was kind of a last resort just to see if I could catch one. And, and that, was, that was a really, really nice fish. This is probably the first time this summer at a pond that I have used a shaky head. I don't know if that's a fish or if it's a snake or whatever it may be. There's something swimming across the surface. I don't know what it was. 
whatever it was, I mean, a pretty big week. So we're gonna give this a few more casts, and now it's swimming over here into the shallows. It's gotta be a bass. That is the whiniest jackass I have ever heard. All that thing does is squeal. Gonna give it a few more casts. And then we're gonna bounce. Let's be honest, a few more casts never really means a few more casts. It means we're gonna keep fishing until we catch some more fish. Then we might consider leaving if we don't continue to catch fish. There is a bass right here, right here at the shoreline. It, there, oh, it's got it, it's got it. I saw him right there at the shoreline eyeballing my bait. It's another nice fish. Pretty. Pretty fish. Thanks, buddy. Whew. It looks like we're on a bit of a pattern, ladies and gents. Soft plastics, shaky head on the bottom. If it was the winter time, I would be out there every chance that I got on the water. I love fishing in the winter time. There's not a lot of boats that go out in the winter. Um, they like to fish and they like to be recreational, but not in the winter. As far as the fish goes in the winter time, that's, that's the, the big time that you can catch some of the biggest fish of the year is in the winter time. So we'll give it a few more casts and then we're gonna bounce because I need to use a head. Stay tuned guys. We will see if we can find one more fish. Yep, last one of the day. Out deep. Throwing that shaky head. Choked it. Man, did he want that thing. Right in the roof of the mouth. Perseverance, guys. Persistence always pays off. It was a grind. Caught some fish. Hope you had an awesome time with me today on this video. I may do one a little bit later. You know the deal. Like this video. Oh, there's a fish right there. I just saw a bass. Right as I was getting ready to do this outro. I saw a bass out of the corner of my eye because of those polarized lenses. I don't know where it went. It must have lost interest. But that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> Trying to do an outro and uh, see another bass swimming up. That was pretty awesome. All right, well, it's got me excited. Makes me want to catch one more. Can we do it? Can we catch one more? I guess we're going to find out. There's a bass that keeps following my worm up to the shoreline.
Well, guys, it looks like we may be in for some rain. We have severely needed it. So I'm hoping that uh, I can catch at least one more fish and then take it in before it rains. Like I said, we have definitely, definitely needed the rain. So. If I get rained out, I am perfectly okay with that. I like this color. This motor oil shardy. Motor oil shardy, that's what I'm gonna call it. As soon as I turn the camera off, As soon as I turn the camera off. All right, last one of the day, guys. Oh my God, you choked it. Holy smokes. If you will hold still, if you'll hold still, I'll get it out. If you will hold still, I will get it out. So at this point, I realized that I need to get the fish to some pliers. Now, I don't even know if I have any pliers in my truck, but what I do know is the only way that I'm going to get this out of the fish's throat is if I bite the line and turn the shaky head sideways and pull the shaky head out through its gills. So, as I'm running into the truck, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do so that I can save this fish and so that it doesn't die. Do I have pliers with me no I don't so hopefully I can get it out almost there all right I got it out good you're still alive Got a little blood on my hands, but don't want her to die. Small fish make bigger fish. So at this point, I realize the fish has a really, really good chance because it is still sitting upright and it's struggling to get away from me. So I just let it revive for another few seconds and she's off and she is ready to swim another day. Thanks, baby. All right, it's gonna be okay. Sweet, awesome way to end the day.